So yesterday, uh, I was on the, um, I had a conference call yesterday, a Zoom, if you will, a Microsoft Teams, if you will, mm-hmm. and it was at 11.30, and I left the show and I went to go, to, I went to go work out, I haven't worked out in a long time, so I was working out, and I realized, oh crap, I gotta be on this Teams thing, so I left there at 11.15, and I thought I could get home in time, but there was a, like an accident or construction or something, so I was stuck, right, and I was like, oh. God, I don't want to do it in my car. Do you know have you done it in your car? Yeah. yeah. Right? So I pulled, I finally got home-ish right when it was going to start, but I didn't want to, it was to that point where like, okay, if, I might as well just pull over the side, in front of my house, it was perfect timing, in front of my house, and start the meeting. Instead of getting in the garage, going inside the house, and sitting on the sofa and doing whatever. So I just did it in my car, in front of my house. Mm-hmm. So parked in front of my house. Meeting starts, and Joy Bradfish is on the meeting, and it's with one of these corporate guys, right? So we're sitting there talking for a while. And my wife was out. Uh, it, was, it was a big dog day for Love Pup yesterday. We picking up dogs, taking them to dog hospitals, uh, and, you know, vet hospitals and working on dogs. And I mean, this dog needs surgery. This dog needs surgery. We picked up a bunch of puppies here. And she was running around doing all kinds of stuff. And she knew I was on this conference call. And towards the end of the call, you know, she pulls up next to me. You know, she's my wife. So she pulls up next to me. She's like waving at me, you know? <laughs> And she rolls down the window, and she knows I'm on the call. But modern technology, my Bluetooth went to her car. <laughs> oh, no. So all of a sudden, I'm holding up the phone with the video of everybody, and I can't hear anything. <laughs> and there's there, these people are talking to me. And I see them talking, and I see them laughing, and I'm like, and all of a sudden, I can't hear. And I don't know that my Bluetooth had gone over to her car yet. So I'm like looking at, and I'm like like doing that thing, like I can't hear you, and I'm looking, did I hit the mute oh, button? No. What? And I'm hitting stuff, and I see them laughing. Right, Joy? I mean, you're sitting there. Yeah, I wish you would have been there. We were making jokes at your expense. <laughs> about your hyper, hyperbaric chamber and all the things you do to your body. And you're, you're just sitting there stone-faced. Uh, so, no idea what's going on. so then my wife rolls down the window, and she now has the call happening in her car, and she goes... I can hear them everything in my car. <laughs> and I'm like, just go. You're getting mad. Just go. Because <laughs> I, I didn't know what was, I couldn't think fast enough on how to fix it. And I go, just drive, drive, drive. Get out of so, here. so she takes off. <laughs> and I see her drive down the street, right? And then finally it clicks back on and I can hear everybody. And then it's like, oh, okay. And I go, oh, whatever, man. My wife, I tell the story. I go, my wife, whatever, Bluetooth. Play. And they, they're laughing and they're laughing. And see, it's the end of the call. And I don't hear from my wife again. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she didn't go home she really No, she couldn't go inside because the Bluetooth took the Bluetooth was so I was literally in front of my house. So if she so she went straight around the block and then she like went. She like <laughs> went to a restaurant that. or something like that. And then I called her and she didn't it didn't went right to voicemail with the voicemail and then I went I went inside the house and I was just chilling out waiting for her. And she finally came home and then all my kids came home and then we never connected about what happened. It was just so it was such a bizarre modern technology problem that we have nowadays, I guess. You know, I, I can't be the first thing. I can't be the first person that happened to. Oh, no. Speaking of hyperbaric chambers, I did go do a hyperbaric chamber yesterday where I go sit in there for 90 minutes and just, you know, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I had this moment where a long time ago, you know, Michael Jackson was going into hyperbaric chambers and everyone thought he was crazy. Do you remember that? Sure. There was a picture of him in the National Enquirer, and it was a picture of him in the hyperbaric chamber, and it was like, Michael Jackson sleeps in a hyperbaric chamber, and I was like, yeah, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that some of us might think you're crazy? Yeah, but modern times now. That was a long time ago. Now I think it's perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah, well. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, don't know about I wouldn't that. say perfectly normal, maybe for you. Anybody I've else know anybody else besides that. John Jay that sleeps in a hyperbaric chamber? Nope. nope. Yeah. I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> I, I don't really know what it is. I don't really understand it. <laughs> I don't know what it is either, but here's